All right, to install our taillight adapter, as you see here, installation is very simple on this new Bronco. You've got two bolts right here, and there's one right here, which we've already removed, and those are a 10 millimeter. So you take these out, all right? And then we've got these little plastic screws with these little tabs. There's one here, there's one up here, there's one here, and there's one here. So you've got four. So count out the four that you have. And then you're gonna take those and remove those. They can unscrew pretty easy, um, but you can also take a little trim tool and you can pry up the, the base of them the rest of the way. So you've got those clear of that hole. And then your panel should come out really easily, just like this. So you can you can get behind the the little rubber seal here and kind of pry that out just like so and just kind of pull that and that whole little panel just comes out real easy and then you've got access right here to your to your plug so all you have to do I'm trying to do this with one hand <laughs> is push this little clip here and that will release it and then you can lift up on that plug and then that comes undone now here's a little trick. If you're trying to press this clip down and you're not able to get that to, to push down and release, push it down further first, then push it, then pull up. Um, sometimes um, it just there's not enough not enough uh, leeway there, not enough play um, for that to to release. So if you push it down first and then press it and then lift it up, it's usually pretty easy to lift out of there. So now all we need to do is plug in this end of our adapter to this connection, plug this into that, and then we can drop our cable that is gonna plug into our rear harness. We can drop it down, this is a good spot right here. You can see the ground, and that's really all you need to do is just get that down to the ground. So we can just drop it straight down in there, and then we'll have access to it in the bottom. So now, as you can see right here, we've got one end of our adapter plugged into our connection for our taillight. We've got the other end plugged into the connection from the vehicle. And so now that is able to access that additional power. You can kind of push this out of the way here and put your trim panel back on. We've also got our wire run down here through that hole I showed you. And then we've got that wire coming right out here at the bottom. Uh, behind the bumper just like we talked about and now that we've got our uh, connector kind of pushed back in here like that out of the way I'm, you know as I'm putting this cover on here I'm pushing this cord back along here so this can sit flush just like this get it lined up with these holes and now all I need to do is put in our plastic clips and our bolts here and our rubber stop and we're good up here on the taillight. All right, so as you take a look here, we've got our lights installed into our bumper with our SPV brackets, and we've got our short harness here, and I'm gonna show you real quick how we install that. So this cord right here has come down from our taillight adapter here. You can kind of see it a little bit back behind between the bumper and that rear quarter panel. And it comes down here to our connectors and we connect our, our uh, white wire and our red wire into our short harness. The red wire is gonna give us our reverse trigger and the white wire is gonna give us our marker light, parking light, power. And then from there, we've got it plugged into our short harness, connects to our light here on this side. And then we've got the wire run here across and connected to our light on the, the other side. Now, if we look underneath, all right, so here we are underneath. Here's our bracket. You can see how we've got a bolt here on the outer corner here on the other side of our tow hooks. And we're gonna take that bolt out and we're gonna install our flat bracket right there. And we've got some a slot, so we've got some room, but we don't have a whole lot of room to move up because the way this bends right in here. So depending on the way you install it or the size of your light, you may turn it to the outside like this just a little bit, and then we can install our light through its factory bracket here on the back side of that. But between the light and this bracket, you're gonna adjust it and tighten everything down to get it just right, just the way you want it. 
Right, so now it's just a matter of running our harness here. And as you see, we've run that harness here uh, back by our uh, hitch receiver right here and then behind the bumper right here. The most important thing you want to make sure you're careful with is that you keep that wire away from this exhaust. Um, the exhaust is right there. You don't want it to touch the muffler either. Obviously, that's going to be hot. Whether you run it through here or you run it alongside here um, is fine. When you're done, though, you're going to want to zip tie any excess up, you know, so it's out of the way. Um, just keep it, again, away from the hot stuff. There's plenty of room here. I mean, back in here, you can bring this stuff up in here. Uh, we just set this up here originally just to test everything. But how you run your harness doesn't necessarily matter as long as, again, it's not touching the exhaust and it's not in the way of the exhaust tip here. So we could even bring our cord up here around the frame there, zip tie it along some of these. There's lots of holes along here in this, in this back bumper. We could zip tie it along there. Again, how you do it doesn't really matter. Now, for our long harness, it's going to be similar but we're going to take that up our frame rail so our long harness we can get over here and we can probably tuck it right in see there's a hole right here we can try to slide it in up our up in through our frame rail and just kind of push it along as we go uh, or we could take it along the outside of the frame rail and zip tie it as we go and then pull it through into our engine bay and then we can connect it to our switches um, so again whether you go with the long harness or the short harness doesn't necessarily matter. Now, um, let me touch on one more thing here real quick. All right, so whether you get the long harness or the short harness, you're gonna have this ground ring. All right, so this ground ring, you just need to find a bolt here, back here somewhere on the bumper, that you can put that under to get a good ground. Um, so whether you do it you know, anywhere here in the bumper or whatever, this is all metal, it should be fine. But again, you wanna get a good ground. Um, even this, even right here, um, this is even a good spot right here. Again, you're going to keep the wire clear of the exhaust, um, but where this bracket bolts to the bumper, um, that's a good clean bolt. If you put it underneath of that bolt right there, uh, you should get a good ground there on this side. Um, on the other side, you don't necessarily have that, but you can probably put it through here. Or actually, here's a good one. Here's a nice silver bolt that goes into the frame. So you, you can probably take that out and, and get it in there. But again, that's one thing you're gonna wanna do is get that ground um, for your lights to work as well. All right, so now depending on which lights you choose, some of them are going to have bare wires, which we've uh, already put our connectors on right here, which are included with our harnesses. You see you get a bag of connectors right here, just like this. And you can put those pins on there and then those will match up and plug right into our harnesses. If you get a light, however, if you get a light, however, that already has a connector on it and it doesn't quite match up, that's fine. We've got these adapters that should come with your kit. If you don't get the adapter, let us know, but it should be in your kit. With this, you can plug the adapter into your light, just like so, and then that will plug into our harnesses. So no matter which set that you get, when we're, no matter which light that you get, it's going to directly be a plug and play uh, connection to our harness system, um, unless it's obviously a light that doesn't have any connectors on it. And if that's the case, we provide the connectors so that it can become a plug and play harness system.